What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Bartender Hideout. Um, as you can see, I have three amazing cocktails standing here. Um, they're all super easy to make, and they're all based with gin. If you like a nice cocktail uh, during this lockdown, then make sure to grab one of these, because they're easy to make, few ingredients, and they're not going to break the bank as well. So let me just show you how to make these ones. Okay guys, let's get going with easy cocktail number one. Um, we are gonna start off with the Clover Club, which is actually a really nice gin cocktail if you like it a little bit sweeter. Um, I'll show you guys how to make this one. Um, again, we're down to like four ingredients, so super easy. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the egg. And we wanna just have the egg white, so I'm gonna make sure that the egg yolk stays in the shells. Then our main ingredient is gonna be our gin. Um, I'm using a Bombay Sapphire at the moment. Um, yeah, as you know, you can use whatever gin you want. Um, this just happens to be a, a little less outspoken one, so it just makes it that the rest of the flavors in the cocktail just comes out a little bit better, I think. So you'd wanna have one that's not too overly herbal or whatever. So we added two ounces of that. Then I'm gonna add one ounce of raspberry syrup. So this is uh, definitely a little bit more on the sweeter side as a cocktail, um, but luckily with the citrus that we're gonna add in a minute, um, it's gonna balance out quite nicely. And then as a last ingredient, I'm gonna be using uh, lemon juice and we're gonna be squeezing our juice. And this is gonna be uh, 30 milliliters or one ounce. Perfect, that should be enough. And we'll add that to our shaker. Then again, we are gonna be um, shaking this twice so we're gonna be doing a, a reverse dry shake so i'm gonna be shaking it with ice first just to make sure um, that we get that nice frothy layer and then afterwards i'm gonna be shaking it without ice to just add a little bit of that extra frothiness still um, but first we're gonna be needing some ice in this one okay we just added some ice to the shaker so let's get shaken Okay, nice and hard shake. Already see some foam coming up here. And I'm gonna make sure that we can take out all of the ice so we can shake it once more and then shake it again. A good tap. There we go. And then we can add the, or get rid of the ice that was here to cool the glass. And we're gonna be straining that in. You can also double strain this depending on the strainer that you have. Uh, I have one that is already basically doing the double strain for me. Um, so if you just don't want those little ice chips in your drink, um, definitely double strain this one. But yeah, this this is your Clover Club already done. You can garnish it with uh, raspberries if you want. Um, I chose to just leave it leave it like this for now. So it looks really nice already anyway. So technically it doesn't really need a garnish. Okay guys, who's ready for cocktail number two? Um, we are going to be making a gin basil smash, which is definitely a cocktail that is a little bit more for the summer season. Uh, it's a little bit more fresh. I'm going to be using a Tanqueray number 10, which has a little bit more of the citrus notes anyway. Um, so this one lines up a little bit better, I think, for the, um, for the basil smash. You could also, if you have it, uh, use a Hendrix, which would really suit a gin basil smash as well. Uh, it just adds that little bit of flavor that you're really looking for in a cocktail like that. First, I'm going to be kneading my shaker. Um, again, uh, very little ingredients, uh, hence why they're all pretty easy. Um, I'm going to be using uh, fresh, fresh basil. I would recommend as well to use fresh basil because all the ingredients that you use and the fresher everything is, the better it's, uh, it's going to taste as well. Yeah, about eight to 10 uh, basil leaves should do the trick. If you wanted more basil, obviously, um, use a little bit more. Um, it's going to come down a lot to 
what you're looking for in the cocktail as well. Then we are gonna be <laughs> using our lemon juice again. So I want to have about 30 milliliters of lemon juice or one ounce. And add that to our shaker. Um, then I'm gonna be using, as I said, we're using a Tanqueray, so I'll add that to our shaker as well. And as with most of the cocktails that we've been making, uh, it's two ounces, add two ounces to the shaker. And lastly, uh, we have our sugar syrup. Um, this is a one-to-one -one ratio, so half of it is sugar, half of it is uh, water. Um, just keep that in mind once you're making it. If you make a stronger um, sugar syrup, you should use it a little bit lighter as well. Um, but for now, I'm gonna be using uh, 15 milliliters uh, or 20 milliliters uh, of sugar syrup. And that is all our ingredients already ready. So let's ice up the glass and let's ice up the shaker. Okay, so that's done. Let's give this one a shake. There we go. Nice and cold. And it already, you really smell the basil there. There's my strainer. It goes straight in. And if you want, you can you can use a double strainer here as well. Um, if you don't want the little pieces of basil in it. As a final touch, make sure we garnish it with a piece of basil as well just so it looks looks quite nice and there you go guys that's our basil smash and here we are to the third cocktail of this video we are going to be making the tom collins which is pretty similar actually to the gin basil smash um this one is probably even a little bit easier um let's get going by actually we should grab our shaker first and we're going to start off by adding our gin. Again, I'm going to be using the Tanqueray number 10. Um, I think this is, I wouldn't say the official, but this is what I see in most recipes regarding the Tom Collins. Um, so that's, this is what we're going to be using as well. Um, probably for the same reason as before. It just has those citrus notes that really work well in a, in a cocktail like this. Since we're also going to be adding the lemon juice. Um, talking about the lemon juice, let's do that now first. We will be using um, half a lemon, uh, which again probably comes down to about 30 milliliters, at least normally. Um, don't pin me down on it because sometimes you get 40, sometimes you get 20, but I guess normally it should be around 30 milliliters anyway for half a lemon. So I'll add that. And then um, we have our sugar syrup again. Um, same ratio as before. So this is a one-to-one -one, uh, sugar syrup. So we'll add that to our shaker. We have some sparkling water as well that we're gonna be adding. Obviously you don't wanna be adding that to your shaker cause that's just gonna give a mess. So please don't do that. Let's first add ice to both our glass and our shaker. Okay, so we are ready to go. Um, I have my ice in my shaker, so I'm just gonna give that a little tap. There we go. That should be all good. And then we're gonna add this to our long drink glass or our highball. Um, there we go. And then lastly, we will be adding our sparkling water go and that we can just top up you I mean you can measure it out but in the end you just want to top it up um, that's the, probably the easiest way to do it anyway and add our straw and then as a garnish I'll just be using a lemon wedge add that to our drink and there we go that's our Tom Collins guys 
So there you have it guys. Three amazing and cheap and easy uh, gin cocktails. Um, I hope you guys will be making any of these uh, at home really soon. If you're stuck at home during lockdown or if you're celebrating at home during Christmas or any of the other uh, holidays, uh, make sure to grab one of these. Um, also, what you should definitely do is post a comment and tell us what you think of the videos. Also, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, yeah. Make sure to tune in next week for a new episode. See you guys.